I'm starting out in the area around Bath, a beautiful city with some outstanding countryside around it. But I've heard of one local footpath that's been causing problems, and I'm going to try and find out why. So we've just come over the stile, yeah? Yes. Right, and that footpath goes over that way, and this, this is the one we want, down towards the spring. I'm walking the path with the James family, Terry and Cathy and their two children, Sophie and Rory. Okay. Yes. Problem number one. That sign on the stile back there deliberately points walkers away from our footpath. Problem number two. Several fences have been erected blocking the line of the footpath, so we're having to go round by a gate. It's a nice house, isn't it? This is Chelscombe Farm. The footpath runs past the front of the house here. Well, we've got a, a, a pathfinder map what here. What you've got that you are trespassing? We, we're on a, that is an ordnance survey map. It's no, it's a pathfinder. Path I don't care what it map. is, it is not the definitive map. I'm so, look, it is Mark. It's look. not the definitive map. How did you get down here? By following the footpath. What for? No, you did What, that one right along the top there? No, we came we down, came down through the field. No. There's no footpath down through those fields. Well, that's it what it shows on our map. It says, it says so on the path. I don't care what your things are. The footpath shows you clearly on the gate up there where you go, and you go along there and straight down well, into Weston. Now, if you don't believe me, you go and see the definitive map. And it says keep the footpath. I don't care what it two says. Points. I'm telling you there is only one footpath on this property. But this, this and you are trespassing. Now, will you kindly leave? The lady's adamant that we're in the wrong. And anyway, we can see the path ahead is blocked with more fences. So we decide to go off and check the legal position. Every council in England and Wales has definitive maps for their area. Mostly they date from the 1950s, when the local authorities were required by law to record all public rights of way. It means that people using footpaths are exercising rights protected by law rather than enjoying privileges okay. granted by landowners. And um, this is where um, Mrs Charles can farm. And you can see that it's shown as a purple line on this map. Purple is for a footpath. If it's on the definitive map, it's conclusive proof of right. its existence as a public right of way. So uh, if, if somebody stops us from walking what we've established to be a legal path, is it a criminal matter or a civil matter or...? or how, how does it...? Um, they are committing the criminal offence under the Highways Act 1980. The um, Highway Authority has a duty to protect and assert the rights of the public to, right, um, to use public rights of way. And if anybody stops them from doing it, they can prosecute them under so that act. So they can act. be taken to court? Yes, they can be taken to court, yes. Anyway, the map shows two footpaths starting from the same point. This is the one we tried to follow, number 512. The path runs straight down and past the farmhouse and on down to the village of Weston in the valley. We've also found out that the long-standing owners of Chelscombe Farm are the three elderly Ford sisters. So we've come back to try to clear the matter up, armed this time with a copy of the definitive map. Good morning. Good morning. We were here last week. You were, yes, I saw you. And we've been to the council and we've got a photocopy it's of the no definitive going map. To the council, you go and see the definitive map. This is a photocopy no, taken this know, week no, of no, the no, definitive no, no, map. I don't care what they tell me. We're not in I've seen look. the definitive map. You've not. That's going it's not. It's not. Look, what more can we do? You say go and get the definitive map. Go, go and get the definitive map. If the ladies feel so strongly about the footpath, then there are legal ways they could go about getting it diverted. What's not legal is for them to obstruct and harangue walkers who attempt to use the footpath. You are trying to force something that is not there. And what's more, you've you got the fences up. No, we do. Yes, you do. Know it's not been that. This map, Kathy, this map shows the path coming down through here. I don't think our arguments are cutting much ice. The ladies have already blocked the path with fences and a misleading sign. They're not about to let us walk the footpath, whatever the law may say. You know what? Well, then you go back and tell them we stopped you. What? Go back and tell them we won't let you through. Oh, we certainly, certainly shall. The three ladies have been stopping walkers from using the path for years now. Words got around. 
so hardly anyone walks the path anymore. After all, who wants a confrontation when you're out for a quiet country walk? But it's a shame it could be a lovely footpath. Thank you very much. I think we've got the message, so we're calling it a day. Until you do, you're not coming. We had 